last year on World Food Day in October, we saved the children and the craftivists came together to launch the I'm a Peace project. It's nice to take the time to sort of sit down and just do it. And it's nice to create something that's permanent as well, that's lasting. Yeah. Kind of here to, to understand a lot more about the issues, the campaign for these kind of injustices around the world. Yo. Yeah. We have over 4,000 people now using the food banks in Liverpool. Coming across from Liverpool tonight, um, and to be honest with you, it's making my heart sing. You have to campaign using a tough mind and a tender heart. This year, in 2013, really keep you know killing people with kindness, saying, look how beautiful the world is and can be, and we can make it even better. Isn't it disgusting that children and adults are still hungry in the world? And we can solve it, and we can fix it, and we know how to do it, and we have it all written in you know, documents from different charities and different governments saying this is how we do it. We just need to do it. What all of this kind of shows is that we can, kind of coming together, we really can do something about tackling hunger. And this year, with the G8 summit happening and with the Prime Minister kind of really setting the agenda for that, there's an opportunity for us to kind of get together, lobby our MPs, as we've been saying, um, and demonstrate exactly how passionate we are. I've done my three pieces. I've been in contact with my MP. Unfortunately, I haven't managed to meet her yet. I'm working on it. Um, and my other one is sitting up in my office on the wall, reminding me why I did it in the first place. And when I heard about craftivism, I researched into it and I was just so inspired to try and do something for somebody else while also, you know, being creative and, and doing something in that way. Um, so I am going to get my pack tonight, I'm going to do my piece and I am going to bang on my MP's door. So when I first found out about the piece, I knew that it was perfect for Manchester Women's Institute. And um, uh, the process has been fantastic because as you sit down and you do these tiny stitches, you really do think about what message it is that you want to portray. Jigsaw pieces that have been stitched by people from all over the country, um, finally all coming together, because obviously I've seen them on Instagram, I've seen them on Twitter, you know, and they've been on Facebook. Um, but to actually see them in the flesh, live here, uh, it's really powerful. And you know the amount of people that have commented on individual pieces, but also on how it looks as a whole. I'm not surprised at how brilliant it's, how well it's all happened because actually, seeing all the pieces come together, I knew that the crafters would get together and do it. But when you actually see it as one piece, um, it's a really inspiring thing. I think the project, it, what, what's happening is now is building up a momentum. And uh, people can see what they can do. They can see that they can sit in a, in a, in a group of people and they can talk about things very gently. And, they, and it's, it's this lovely slow, slow grow, slow campaigning where actually the roots are very, very strong. People should realise that this is just the beginning. I've made one piece, I've given it to my MP and it's opened up an opportunity for me to have further dialogues with him. When we put our voices together, we can make a, a, a really big noise. Um, and that has been an incredibly inspiring thing.